Coaches, we're going to take a look at the last option in this package submitted by Coach Nomazone, the offensive coordinator at Texas A&M University. This is his glance concept. It really doesn't matter what you're doing in terms of what you're tagging to the back side of the route here. But when we're talking a 20 personnel grouping, a lot of defenses will have to spin to some type of three deep rotation to get an extra defender in the box and that's exactly what you're seeing right here this is I believe this is Arkansas but you're seeing that drop linebacker he's already in the overhang window and in the last video we talked about the pre-snap concept okay of the RPO game when you come out in 20 personnel in these two by one formations and examining where that nickel defender is or that Sam linebacker. So you see pre-snap here, the Sam linebacker is able to leverage that bubble. So it's no longer an option for the quarterback pre-snap to get it out there. Now it becomes a pure post-snap read. And a pure post-snap read becomes that weak safety, or as Coach Mazzone calls the joker in his system, where the quarterback is going to read either the, you know, the divide zone or the same side zone. In this case, it's the same side zone Okay, with that Y in his system. But he's the one that's going to be influenced post-snap. And at this picture, unless this player does something drastically different, you are going to get that window in the middle of the field. You have a free safety here cheating to the middle of the field or cheating to the twin receiver side. So that, there's a lot of space in that area the quarterback could exploit. So as this thing develops here, I just want you to watch the quarterback size. So there's the mesh game. I don't think the eye discipline has to be too strong because he knows right now that joker or weak safety has come into the box, okay, and that receiver right now is going to take the best possible glance. It's a five-step glance, and he's working right to the middle of the field. Quarterback pulls it, delivers the ball, it's a big play. We'll show you the end zone shot so I can show you the blocking. What's simple in Coach Mazzone's system is that it's five for five blocking up front. The offensive line handled the first five, so we could all do the math on this. It's one, two, three, four, five. He calls it Charlie blocking. He has to tag it with some type of coding so the offensive line knows that it's a third level RPO attached to it. So this is very similar to C blocking, what he calls in the system, or cutoff zone blocking, or divide zone where this H is actually just taking that C gap player. Right now this tackle has to know as he takes his tracks, okay, he has to be patient and stay on his man because there's a possibility that the quarterback's going to throw the ball and, you know, who knows what the line judges are looking at in most situations, but you can get called for the infringement on that three-yard penalty. So we'll just take a look at here. The line's blocking their zone tracks. Okay, you see right now with this H, he's responsible for that C-gap. Okay, and he's going to handle that backside player. 